Hey guys, how you doing? SD here. Do my last final little bit of checks before uh, I try to wire up all 17 of these transistors. Uh, a little information. Uh, primary battery sitting at 1237. Uh, and the charge battery is 1363 after this last little test. Now what I did here on the wiring over here off of this extra uh, transistor I'm Running off uh, this one single coil right there. I've only got uh, one of the windings hooked up to it. Those are uh, 1.04, I think the size it was on this one. Now I did on the transistor. I didn't put a uh, neon on it, and I've come straight off of the side of the base here. I tried a uh, one watt. Uh, 100 ohm uh, resistor on there and it got hot so I went ahead and took that off and put this uh, uh, 1 watt 10 ohm in there ran a test she's running pretty good nice and cool came off the side of the uh, back side of the 1N4007 and ran that up and that's hooked to the end run on the coil came straight off of the side just before the uh, uh, 1N4001 off the emitter and ran that back over here coming to the negative of the primary battery and this other one coming off of the uh, start run is coming off of the back side here of the initial circuit here and going straight to the coil so let's hook this puppy up and see how she does you guys watch for smoke here we go she did pretty good on the last little start up Gets up to speed pretty quick. Let you get that wire out of the way here. I just want to make sure all this is good before I get ready to wire up all 17 of them. Charge is already up to 13.67. Not too bad. Things coming along pretty good. My crazy birds over there in the background, they, they put up the Kevlar shield again after the last incident. One of them's got a military helmet on its head, peeking up over the Kevlar. Okay, we're at 1369, 1380. <clears throat> and that's only off of one winding on that second uh, run coil there. I need to hook up the other one to the other transistor, but I want to make sure everything is working right here. Still haven't uh, put a neon on the uh, transistor. I ran one earlier, something wasn't right, and uh, had a meltdown. So I had to replace this one and this one over here. Everything else survived on it. We're at 14, 15, 16. It's climbing pretty quick now. Rotor just about got up to speed. I haven't touched the pot at all. Imagine what this thing is going to do with uh, eight coils on it. I'm going to need a bigger battery to charge. Or more batteries. Yeah, she's running really nice and smooth. You don't hear any noise. I got the uh, Coil somewhat secured with some uh, double sided tape there just for now. Still want to make those ones out of plexiglass so I can screw them right to the base of this uh, platform here. They don't move around. The rotor is fairly well centered. It's not exact perfect. That way you see a slight wobble in it. I'll probably pick up another one next payday and uh, line it all out, make sure everything is dead center. I want to try a same size rotor with some. Uh, Neo magnets and uh, about six pound pull. Look around for those, see what I can find. She we're at 1456 and climbing. Primary batteries dropped to 12.29. Not too bad. Imagine if I had that other coil hooked up, she'd be booking right along here pretty good. I tried running that little switch setup 
looks like I'm going to have to run a switch coming off of the uh, uh, base going before it hits to the pot and put a switch right there. That way I can turn off each individual uh, run coil as they go around from one side to the other like that. Uh, and that'll probably be the simplest way to do that. Still using the same original uh, test board to try everything out before I do the other wiring. There's a little resistor. She's not hot at all. Nothing this time. Nice and cool. Don't even have a heat sink on it. Nothing on this one at all. Nice and cool. 1469, she's still looking. 1470. I've got a long strip of aluminum that I'm going to set out and run right about from right down here all the way across this side put all my heat sinks and do the wiring and everything right up in here and then try to put the uh, control switches to shut off over here I just went down and got regular light switches used for uh, the house they're 69 cents versus the uh, ones you buy at Radio Shack they want an arm and leg and part of your shoestring for that like three dollars and something a piece so I'm doing a low budget setup all these coils are made off of uh, magnet wire I got out of uh, TV sets uh, usually the only thing I bought was this new rotor that was like $20 at tap plastic and bought some decent uh, meters after uh, the other ones decided they wanted to blow up. So here's your Bendini project on a tight budget. And we're still at uh, 1476. Primary battery is at uh, 1229. Nice and smooth. We'll put this on the new form. It's really nice to get to a bunch of guys that uh, don't make you have to pr prove something before you put it on there. It's a heck of a lot better group it seems like already. So this will be my first long video posted in there. It's coming your way. Alright, we'll see you all later.